praise and all the glory unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, one acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And I, through the Spirit, I'm going to go in Matthew 15. It says, Then came to Yahweh Shai scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, why do thy disciples transgress, transgress the tradition of the elders? For they wash not their hands when they eat bread. So the, you know, the, uh, you had our own people who were coming up against Yahweh Shai and, and uh, the disciples. So they were, you know, trying to make them, you know, ask them why they're not eating with their hands clean before they eat the bread. You know, trying to catch them up in the law. Let's read it. Verse 3, But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of the Most High by your tradition? See, and these people the, around us were telling the same thing. You're transgressing Yahweh's laws by your traditions. Because when you keep their holidays, their pagan holidays, you're keeping you know, traditions of men, you see, not Yahweh. Let's keep reading. For the Most High commanded, saying, Honor thy father and the mother, and he that curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or mother, It is a gift, and by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, and he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of the Most High of none effect by your tradition. <coughs> See, so he was, Yahweh Shai was confounding them, putting it back on them. You know, you, you're, not, you're not keeping the laws and statutes of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. See? <clears throat> Verse 7. Ye hypocrites, well, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, and he's, he's talking about Isaiah, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So you have a lot of people, they think they're religious, they think they're spiritual, the two-thirds walking around, oh, praise Jesus, praise you, or even like, uh, all praises to the Most High, blessed in Christ, or you know how uh, IUIC does it, which that's not, neither one of those is honoring Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So that's not how you, and these, but these people, they, that's, they draw nigh unto, the, unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me not with, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Meaning, your mind is far from understanding the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, you're not considering the Bible. You're not considering the Scriptures as your, you know, code of conduct. Instead, you're going, you know, you're thinking according to your, you know, what you feel is right. Verse nine. <clears throat> Oh, I'm sorry, verse, let me see where I'm at. Verse 9. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So they're in vain means useless. So these, these other religions, Yahweh's telling, and Yahweh Shai is speaking it, hey, you, these other religions are useless. See, but in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. See, so our people, they rather be taught the commandments of men than the commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? Like in America, you can change yourself from a man to a woman or a woman to a man because it's not against the law to do that here. But those are not, those are the commandments of men. Those are not the doctrines of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. See? Verse 9, 10. And he called the multitude and he said unto them, Hear and understand. Not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but which cometh out of the mouth, this, this defileth a man. So this doesn't mean that the, the, the dietary law is, is, is uh, not in effect. You know, you still, don't, you still want to keep the laws to the best of your ability as far as the dietary laws are concerned. So it's not about... What you put in your mouth is about what comes out of your mouth. 
what comes out of your mouth, you don't you don't want to be teaching uh, false doctrine. Like if you're a pastor or you're you're a, even a Hebrew Israelite and you're you're teaching um, Christ, Jesus Christ as like a you know the true the true deity, the true Messiah, then you know that's what's defiling you because you're 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 telling lies, you're teaching lies. You see. Verse, uh, where we at? Verse 12, Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying. See, so that, you know, just like now, the people get offended when we correct them according to the scriptures. And we show them what the scriptures, when we give, if they're able to get, you know, understanding or we bring out the, the, the word, and they basically, they can't challenge it, but that's, they get offended, you know. Verse, let's see where we at. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered, Salakia. All right. <clears throat> Salakia, where am I at? Not which, that which goeth in the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth the man. So if you're pushing a false doctrine, if you're not keeping 100% sound doctrine, that's, that's when you're defiling yourself. See? Let me, let me get that verse real quick through the precept, through the spirit. <clears throat> Thirteen. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. So if you're if you're not if you're not chosen to understand this truth, you're going to be rooted up because this is only for the elect. And you're going to be removed. You're going to be dismissed. All right. But this, let's see. This is the opposite for the elect, because just like the ones who are not, the one it says, every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. So if you're not part of the elect, you're going to get, like I say, dismissed. Let me. Uh, but it's the opposite for the elect. <clears throat> so it says right here, every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Right? So that's the ones that are going to be not of the elect. Then you go to John 10 and 28. And this is what it says about the elect. Let's see. It's John 10, 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. So see, they can't be plucked out of the Father's hand. Let's keep reading. Verse 29. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. See? So nothing can remove the elect. If you're of the elect, nothing can move you. But if you're of the two-thirds, well, then that, that you know, where we at? You're going to be uprooted. Matthew 15 and 13. It says, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. So if Yahweh didn't plant you, and he, you're not of the elect, you will be rooted up. And then on the quite opposite, because he's a he's a balance, he's a, a, a power of balance. So he's you can't be plucked out of his hand if you're of the elect. 
Matthew 15 and 13, it's, it reads, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. So the men who are walking around um, teaching uh, false doctrines or going off, which is not according to the scripture, you know, then you're, you're, uh, you're defiling yourself by teaching unsound doctrine. And I was trying, I was going to bring that out earlier. <clears throat> so, uh, let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. So these men who are teaching these false, uh, you know, lies and fables and doctrines of men, you're, you're the blind leading the blind. The people you lead are blind, you're blind, so both of you can fall in that ditch. So then we're going to go to Matthew, because you, you don't understand the scripture. 2 Timothy 4 and 3. It says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves having itching ears. So this is the time we're in. These people, then you don't endure sound doctrine. You stick with all the lies in the, in like, let's keep reading it. Verse 4. And they shall and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. They shall be turned unto fables. See, so that you're moved by the little fa the fables that um, Esau Edom teaches, you know, instead of the truth. You, you turn your ears away from the truth. All right, so <clears throat> let me go back to uh, Matthew 15. Fifteen, it says. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Yahushai said, Are you with? Are ye also yet without understanding? So he was rough on his men. You see, Yahushai. He's like, Are you, you still don't understand, Peter? You know, he was rough on his men. I mean, it was in disobedience, and he had to be rough. He was rough on his men. You know. Just like if the elders, if they get upset and they send out a decree, you know, because GMS is, uh, needs to tighten the ship, you know, they'll get uh, upset. If you, you, you're, you're behind, you're not understanding the, you know, the parables. Apostle Tahar is, is known for testing his men with the scriptures, you see. <clears throat> Verse 16, And Yahweh Shai said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth go into the belly and is cast out into the drought. See, so with the understanding of this, what we're reading, how bad it is to go off, you know, with uh, with the doctrine or when you're teaching unsound doctrine, it's, it's important because the second you start to teach unsound doctrine, you become a false prophet. And that's not what the business that we're in. We're not doing the Father's business to be out here false prophesying. We got to make sure we teach this according to the truth. And not lead the flock astray, you see. The sheep, you got to feed the sheep, but you got to feed the sheep sound doctrine. 19. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts. And remember, heart is mind. For out of the mind proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, falses, witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with an unwashed hands defileth not a man. So yeah, it's not recommended, but I mean, it's not. You're not sinning by eating your food without washing your hands. Because that's what these hypocrites were coming after the... Uh, the the um, the disciples it'd be like them right now coming after us for not wearing our fringes in public and our answer to them is we wear our fringes when we teach not when we're out in our everyday life 
for it. There's a few reasons why we do that, but that's a different topic and different lesson. But this is what defiles a man is what comes out of your mouth, right? And again, you still got to keep the dietary law, but teaching unsound doctrine is what it will defile a man and what will defile a prophet and make you a false prophet the second you start teaching according to what's not in the scripture. You know, you go off. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out on that. I want to give all the praise, all the glory, all the honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakat Kodash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me the truth. Also, want to acknowledge all the Akyam who are pushing the truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom to the elect.